Yeah. Let's talk to Eric. <laughs> Eric. Hey, you. So, you looking for a Martin Luther King moment? Oh, yeah, you know I am. Yeah, uh, always. Oh, all right. Uh, favorite Martin Luther King moment would probably have to be, uh, you know, when he was marching the streets in Birmingham way back in 1963. He actually got arrested and sent to jail. It was a pretty uh, big thing. We stop, already, already stop, this. stop. No. Martin Luther King would not have gone to jail. That's true. He did. He, he, he wrote a letter. Shut up. He wrote a letter in jail Shut up. and sent it out. Ryan. He was beloved. He has a day dedicated to him. Yeah. Why so, did jail? George Washington go to jail? Did This Lincoln? was before racism ended. <sighs> okay. Oh, it ended? I don't think it ended. Yeah, okay. Holes, holes in your story. Um, yeah, I hope you send you to Ferguson where you can be tormented. Have you heard that he was a practical joker and pretended to get assassinated all the time to scare his like security people? Martin Luther King? Yeah. He would like this pretend. Yeah, he was in a jackass. And stuff. when he actually was, was assassinated, people started laughing because they thought he was just fucking around. Like they, really it's really true. See, he's like one of us. He's like he like does he's a uh, pranks. He's, he's a goose. He's just goose. I like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole jail thing was probably a prank too. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, did you have a question? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering. Um, do you guys have a, a favorite food like that you've had while uh, driving or on the road to some place? Like, you know, roadside foods. Oh, roadside food. You, are you talking something I eat while I'm driving or a, like, roadside Maybe distraction? Stop. Yeah. Like a roadside stop. You know, like you got, like, the boiled peanuts on the side of the road type deal. Peanuts. Peanuts is my favorite. You know what's kind of off the beaten path, but if you're driving back from L.A., you may want to stop, is the hat. I want to get yeah. the hat so bad. If you, if you, hey, if you think for a second that you'll leave that place not sick, you're insane. Yeah. The strongest, hey, I have the strongest stomach in the world and I leave going, fuck, why did I, fuck, why, why did I do it? it. I mean, you'll get chili cheese fries that would make angels cry. They are just like. I've seen that video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I filmed that. And uh, I thought the pastrami fries were even better. Oh, I've never had pastrami fries. You never had that? It's up for debate on which one is better. I'm a pastrami person. It's been years since I've been to that. Do they put cheese on it? Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the hat. Everything has cheese. The hat, the hat, you have to limit how many times you go in your life. It will kill you. It will, you'll get a few, there's only so many, you know? It's like the Dragon Balls, you can only wish for something so many times. It's like you have like three good trips to the the hat or and. The fourth trip is like doing Kaioken times 10. It's like, no, they told you not to do that. Are you going to? Okay, you may survive. Oh, you didn't. No. Well, maybe we can wish you back. Awesome. Not IRL, I sorry. Go. I need to go there. Um, yeah, the hat is incredible. Um, I had a, a pastrami sandwich there too. Their pastrami is like one of their famous things. Really? Yeah. I love pastrami. Uh, so that might actually be you know, the better thing. Get the pastrami sandwich. Get the chili cheese fries. Anyway... That's a great stop. To me, I always that it's in an area that I don't that is not a destination, but it's just if you're driving back from LA or Disneyland, you may want to like stop there. Does that count? Sean is groaning in the other yeah. room now. Yeah, I'd say that counts. How about you, Eric? Oh. Uh, uh yeah, I live in uh Central Florida, so we got lots of uh, fruit stands on the side of the road selling, you know, fresh fruit. Um, but in terms of restaurants, there's a place nearby called uh, the Big L, and they've got really good sausage sandwiches. Damn. That's all. That sounds good. Um, you know what I just thought of, too? This is going to sound lame, but I genuinely enjoy this. It's actually on the drive to Vegas. The drive to Vegas is where you really discover some roadside mm-hmm. shit. Uh, Cause you're going through the desert and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And um, a couple of stops, a couple of the really off the wall places have closed, but um, this is not, this is going to sound like, Oh Rocco, come on. But on the way to Vegas, sometimes you stop in Barstow. Uh, I've seen Barstow. Yeah. Barstow sucks. Yeah, Barstow it is. Blows. If you could think of the, the ass end of nowhere, it's the ass end of the ass end of nowhere. <laughs> hey, no should, if that's your destination, you fucked up in life. Yeah. But anyway, but you stop on the way to Vegas, it's fine, and they have a McDonald's there 
that they made out of a out of a closed train station. Oh. Really? And so, okay, yeah, it's McDonald's, mm-hmm. but you can eat McDonald's in a. They actually hollowed out a train cabin. That's cool. So you can eat McDonald's in a train. Oh, that's cool. When I was a kid, I loved doing that. It, yeah. I know you know it's McDonald's, but I rarely got like breakfast McDonald's stuff. It was pretty much only when we would drive really early, early to Las Vegas. So they would all. So already it was like as a kid, it was mystic to me that they had breakfast. But then I'd eat it in the train. It was like, yeah, this is cool. And my parents were like, this is like, let's get out of here. Really? But I, as a kid, I enjoyed yeah. that eating McDonald's in yeah. an old train. I would have to say my favorite. I've been going here for years. But if I'm ever going up to the mountains, there's a small town called Lee Vining, and there is a restaurant called the Wonelli Deli. <laughs> and uh, it's it's basically it's in a gas station, but when you think of it, it's in a gas. You're like, oh, it's got to be this run. No, it's like a white plate fancy place yeah. in like a little tiny town. Huh. And apparently, some guy who um, who was a cook at like some five star restaurant decided to just leave and start up his own little restaurant in this gas station. Wow. And, I mean, like, fish tacos are like mango fish tacos, and they're all dressed up all night. It's awesome. That's I, cool. I, I stop there anytime I go I go up to the um, mountains in California. Huh. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Oh, shit. You can get McDonald's on any train in England because you just buy it. Yeah. Why are you there if you're not going on? I think something uh, is... Here, yeah. handle this for a second. I'll take care of this. So you just go to McDonald's before you get on the train, and then you take your McDonald's and you sit on the train. That's how you get McDonald's on a train. They got McDonald's on trains? No. no. One oh, thing, okay. you get it before you get on the train. I, oh. would, I would, When I was a kid, I took the train everywhere. Like, just on vacations and stuff. Mm. And my favorite thing in the whole world was getting White Castle burgers on the train. Mm. Like, you get them on the train. And I on the train. Yep. They sell them on the train. There's a restaurant on the train. What? Yep. That's cool. It was awesome. In Manchester there is a KFC restaurant. Oh no, there isn't anymore. Oh. I'm sad now. There was a KFC in the Manchester train station and then I used to get KFC and sit on the train. Uh, KFC but now sucks. that's dead and then I can't get KFC. Good riddance. KFC blows. But now they have Yo Sushi, so you can't eat that on the train. No. You have any other questions? <laughs> Uh, no, that was it. Thank you. Awesome. No problem. Take it easy.